come along while I spend Patron on this microphone. Watch out, I'm in the zone, worth for everything I own. Life is March Madness, one mistake, then you go. Yeah, I had a stroke, but your boy still rhyming. And fresh got love, but the squad's still wildin'. Catch me in any city in the hood, we grindin'. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is our prediction for the upcoming fight on December 18th, on Friday. Friday, December 18th, on the zone. Gennady, Gennadyevich, Golovkin, also known as Triple G, is fighting Kamir Shimrometa. Uh, and so, who, do you, who are you predicting will win this fight? Triple G or Kamir Shimrometa? I'm going to start this one off with G. Well, I don't know the other guy, so I'm going with my man's Triple G. You know what I mean? So um, now Triple G is a little older, so but I'm I'm hoping he can still pull off a knockout. Um, so yeah, man. Um, yeah, I think this is a, it's a nice little touch up right before the Canelo fight. So yeah, man, Triple G all the way. You know. All right, Dollar Bill. Um, I don't I don't know I don't know the guy, but here's the problem with me. Triple G's been so fixated on this Canelo fight, right? It's kind of like how um, Dillian wanted the green belt. You know what I'm saying? He wanted this fight so bad, and Canelo is not – he's doing everything else. He's just not interested in this fight with, with, with Triple G. He feels like he beat him twice already. But here's why I brought this up is because Triple G is so fixated on this fight, he almost lost to the Reverend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, your mind is somewhere else is so worried about this Canelo fight that you might end up running into something. I thought he got a gift. You know what I'm saying? He might catch the Pavekin. You know, pardon me? Triple G might catch a Pavekin. He might. You know what I'm saying? Because of it, the Triple G is getting much older now. You know, he's starting to get hit with stuff, you know, so a lot more now. And besides, he's still... He's never moved up in weight. Like, he stayed there at 160. He needs to do something else. He needs to try to – if you're going to go out with a bet, it's not – I don't I don't know. I don't know about the kid. But this fight, we're talking about this fight. Hopefully he wins. But sometimes I, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. But I'm picking him to win. But I really don't know because I don't know this guy. And the way Triple G's last performance looked and he, how he was looking before, man, I don't know. I don't know. I think his best days is behind him. But – I'm giving Triple G. I, I, I give Triple G this, the, the nod to win this. But y'all can see my concern. Ned? Uh, man, listen. I don't know much about the other fighter, but just like like Trill said, in the last fight, Triple D didn't look good against the Reverend Chanko. And at this point, I don't think he should be focused on the Canelo. He should be looking at other more lucrative fights that people want to see him in or his fan base wants to see him in. Because – I honestly don't want to see a third fight. I don't know about Dude, you all, but so like this is my thing that he should be focused on more lucrative fights. There's no more lucrative fights. Than- Hold up. After after two Wait fights, minute, other fighters. Other after fighters. two fights, I'm just saying after two fights with him, like like I've seen we the public seen what we've seen. We don't want to see a third fight. So I'm saying we we as the public might not want to invest or pay to see a third fight from Triple G and Canelo. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you, man. Like you were saying, like, you know, there's a Charlo fight out there. You yeah. know, other fight like a, a Demetrius Andre. You know what I'm saying? There's other people that he can bring his attention to. It's not going to be yeah. lucrative. It's not going to be lucrative. <laughs> That's the operative word. Yeah. <laughs> lucrative <laughs> but as in it's in the There's other, other, other fights out there for him. It but brings I agree the with you, There's other fights out there for him. Might not be as you know? lucrative, but there's other fights out there for him. Yeah, so this fight, I don't know if, if Triple G thinks he, I, I, I don't know this fight that he's fighting, but I'm just saying you never want to overlook your opponent, and Triple G, you made a mistake last time with the Reverend Chanko, so don't make this mistake with, um, I'm going to say his first name, Camille, because the boy's undefeated, and you know, this might be, <laughs> this might be his come up. This might be his uh, his come up. His he saw he's rubbing his hands right now. Like I got the triple G in my pocket, and it, it's, it's over for him. You know? So I'm, I'm going with Camille. I'm predicting he might uh, um, pull an upset this this week next weekend. I got a question. When did they um, set up this fight? Like, because that usually matters. Because like the Shakur Stevenson fight, homeboy that he fought, I think only had like three weeks' notice or something. You know what I mean? So like. 
How much? Like how no, long? He's had this. This fight's been set up for at least three weeks. Oh, okay. I know. Maybe even longer. It's been set up for a while. Oh, yeah. He's had. He's had. A, he's had enough time. He's had at least like four to five weeks. Wow. And like you know, typically the average camp's about eight weeks. So um, he's he's had he's had time. Um, all right. So everybody keeps saying that they don't know Camille Sherometta. So let's get to know him. He's uh, from Poland. Shout out oh, to Fox Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, one thing that stands out is he's undefeated, twenty-one and zero. But only five of those big wins come by way of knockout. Um, he's tail <laughs> percentage is twenty three percent. Um, and he's thirty one years old. So let's look at his resume, and let's start at the bottom. All right, you you would expect these type of fights early on in the career, um, but so it looks like who knows. See, at this point in his career, he's fighting a guy that's nine, three, and two. And he went the distance with him. See, so to me, that's not the showcase. He fought a guy who's 12, 14, and two, and he went the distance with him. Now, kudos to him, he won every round, but, um, you know. Yeah, this is still here. Maybe this is get Triple G's confidence back. I don't know. So, based on the resume, Easy to know. This is a 21 and 0. So this is his record sounds good when they announce him. He'll probably look good on the scale. Um, but when he get in the ring, he's the sacrificial lamb for bigger things to come. He's gonna be the other Polish dude that Okoli did. You remember what Coley did yesterday? <laughs> that Polish kid. Triple G about to do the same thing, man. It's- I I like to make this clear. I picked Triple G to win this fight. You picked oh. the other guy. Uh, you, said, you said that Shira Meta was going to upset Triple G. No, I didn't. Where's this fight being held? <laughs> where's, this fight being take, where's this fight being take that? Where's this fight going to happen? Oh, where's it happening? Hopefully in Chicago. Oh. Hopefully in Chicago. Hopefully in Chicago, yeah. That, that has a huge uh, box. Oh, that's in the Hard Rock uh, Hotel in Hollywood. The casino in Hollywood. Should have been in like Chicago. Or yeah, they should have, so they could get some bread or something. I don't know. But let us know who y'all think in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Boys. We could have been flawless yep. Fly enough to make people's mouths drop jawless How can two years be a race of one August And you know I have my pride So I had to get brolic All in all I can't call it Just know you're my queen Wish I was denim Cause then I be in your jeans Can't fight fate And you've been loving me since your teens But when you can't move forward You gotta wipe your slate clean